By the way, how awesome was that, huh? Coding that first test. So nice. Anyways, let's get on to our second test. If you guys remember, what did we need to do here? It was exactly the same thing that we did in the first test, except we entered an invalid username into the field to make sure that the user cannot log in if they enter an invalid username. So let's go ahead and write that test. So what I'm actually going to do is come over here to Solution Explorer. I'm going to take this test, right click, do copy, and then click here and do paste. I'm going to copy over this test. Double click on it to make sure that it has been successfully selected. And now it's complaining that the namespace already contains a definition. Of course it does. We have one here. So that's why we need to rename this test. So let's rename it. Login. Login with invalid username should not work. Hit enter. That's good. As you guys see, it did not change up here. So I need to select that and paste it. So now that the namespace is going to match the file name, we can keep this run test and the test is going to be almost exactly the same, right? Except invalid username is what we're going to send. So boom, there we go. We are now sending an invalid username. And then I think the only thing that we need to double check is to make sure that that user is not allowed in. So let's come here, type in, click login, and see the message that comes up, error, the password field is empty, invalid username. Okay, so that's the error, let's capture it. Great, and let's use this ID, login error. So we're going to need, once we click that, we're also... Every test needs to have an assertion. We're going to assert that something is true. And what is going to be true? Let's code that up here. We're going to assert that the error is displayed. If not, we're going to write a message that says that the error message for a user with an invalid username was not displayed. And also, that reminded me that we don't have an assertion in the first test. 